So the Navy is in here in San Diego is looking to the future while remembering 9-11. Today, 700 sailors are being promoted to the rank of Chief Petty Officer. 10 News reporter Jared Aarons is live at the Embarcadero with the Navy's message about the war on terror. Jared? Virginia, all these sailors behind me, the ones in the yellow shirts, are the ones that will be promoted to Chief Petty Officer, and they say this is proof that we are winning that war on terror. As they put it, we have to stay ready so we don't have to get ready. Now, it's really just a coincidence that this celebration happened to fall on 9-11, but the sailors I spoke to today says that just makes both days that much more special. At the break of dawn, they marched to the Midway, then to the Embarcadero, honoring 9-11 in their own way. Some people joined the Navy because of September 11th. Some remember where they were serving in the Navy on September 11th. So um, it's very special. Made even more special by today's occasion. About 700 chief selectees came together for Pride Day, celebrating their advancement through the Navy ranks. Every year, whew, every year, um, every year we do CPO Pride. Um, this today is 9/11, so it's real huge for a lot of people here. Some of these guys out here lost people in 9/11. On deck while a helicopter took pictures overhead. Chief Selectee Braden Mitchell thought about the significance of having this gathering 14 years to the day after terrorists tried to tear the country apart. It's like another 4th of July. You want to see more red, white, and blue. You want to see more Americans together. You want to see all that. And the fact that you have a bunch of, you know, thousands of people have never met before today, but everybody here can literally call each other brother and sister. It's, uh, it's pretty good deterrent for what they tried to do to us. And a sign on this somber day. That the Navy can look back and never forget, we but will always march on. These selectees will officially be promoted on Wednesday. Again, they say combining this event with 9 11 makes it an event that they will never forget. Live at the Embarcadero. Jared Aarons, 10 News.